What is going on, guys? Gray here today. Let's talk about the Witches Festival returning, of course, this Thursday to the Elder Scrolls Online. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Starting this Thursday, October the 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until Tuesday, November the 7th. This is the spookiest of occasions. You can claim terrifying, awesome, event-specific awards, including uh, Plunder Skulls, XP Boost, event tickets, and more. If you have never participated in the Witches Festival, all you have to do, of course, is acquire the free quest, The Witches Mother's Bargain. Once you complete that quest, you will get the whistle, which will go in your tool section, and that will give you that 100% XP boost during the event. If you have completed this or participated in uh, this event in the past, of course, that whistle will be in your tool section and you will not need to complete that introductory quest again. During the Witches uh, Festival event period, whenever you defeat a boss monster, you will receive Plunder Skulls. Plunder Skulls can have things like uh, stuff for your alchemy, crafting festival themed furnishing recipes, provisioning recipes, uh, themed furnishings from the Witches Festival or a festival themed treasure and a small chance for the Hallowjack style page or uh, the Dramora style item. Once more, whenever you fell a different unique boss for the first time each day, you can get a Dramora plunder skull, which will have things in it like the Witches Festival Ritz, uh, treasure maps, a Grave Dancer weapon style, the new Forbidden Memento box, the new uh, Ghost Netch pet fragment, and the new tradable style page the Crowborn Hunter outfit style. Uh, monsters of all shapes and sizes lurk throughout Tamriel this time of year, but there is one creepy beast that is feared above all, the Crowborn. To locate and slay this living nightmare, acquire the daily quest Plucking the Crow by speaking with the Witch Mother located outside of the brewery at every uh, course event vendor tent found through Tamriel. Your courage will be rewarded with a Dramora Plunder Skull that has a small chance to grant you incredible offerings of tradable witches festival value, uh, valuables instead of the regular plunder skull items. Things like 10 witch tamed bear dog fragments, the full style book of the Dramora motif, all uh, treasure maps for you know some certain areas, uh, rune box for the forbidden uh, tome, and a random crowborn hunter out, uh, outfit style page. During the Witches Festival, you also can collect two event tickets for the first boss you defeat each day. During the event, you can earn up to 26 tickets. But don't forget, of course, like always, you only can hold 12 event tickets at a time. For this event, all three Passion Dancer Blossom Pet Fragments will be available. The first fragment of the Horde Hunter Mount will be available. The Crowborn Hunter Outfit Style Page. The Witches, uh, Witches Festival Ghost Netch Pet Fragment. The Forbidden Memento. And Assorted Spooky Witches Festival Themed Furnishings um, that you can buy, of course, from that event vendor as well. The Group Repair Kit. The Companion Guild Commendations. The Witches Grab Bag, which is something you can purchase if you have not yet collected all the items contained within. And of course, that's going to be some of the things from previous years, witches festivals. Um, this is the witches festival, of course, will be your opportunity to begin gathering the fragments for the final event morphing collectible of 2023, that new horde hunter mount. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited about the witches festival event, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.